I'm an American, please. You have to believe me. This is a mistake, sir. Come on, now. Not up to me. Here they are. It's so quiet. They are much more docile compared to Max. Our red uniforms are for level two, people with felony convictions, etc. Orange are our level ones, our non-criminals. So they're in orange, but they're not criminals? Well, they are criminals. They're here, right? They came to our country illegally. That's exactly right, Carlos. Carlos Lipbeck, Natalie Figueroa, our new warden. Mr. Litvak is head of ICE here at Polycon Detention. ICE handles the processing, the legal, the deportation, and Polycon handles the housing and the feeding. What's with that bird? Cute, right? Flew in here a few days ago. Keeps the ladies entertained, so we uh, decided not to deport it. <laughs> <laughs> Do any of them speak English? Some, though most favor Espanol. Majority here from Mexico, followed by El Salvador, Honduras, Guatemala. Then we have your others, your uh, Haitians, your Jamaicans, general Africans. Of course, there's your Asian nerds, your cool Asians, but beware of the plastics. That was a mean girl's joke. So it's like the, it's a small world ride, but minus the joy and the singing. And the line is just as long. Some uh, do-gooder lawyer advocate types told the detainees who were working in the kitchen that they don't get paid, and it doesn't help their case, so they quit. Looks like you have your first task. Luckily, America's cheapest labor force is just down the hill. <laughs> I need to get in touch with someone so that I can prove that I was born here. I'm gonna ask for my phone call. We don't get a phone call. <laughs> but there are phones right there. You don't get a free call. You gotta pay to set up an account. You gotta pay per minute. Okay, well, fuck that. When I get assigned my lawyer, that's the first thing I'm gonna do. You don't get a lawyer. <laughs> what? This is America. I'm not in here. <laughs> Rakhun, Akun, Kamikwe, Chamin, Gomchiri. Touch me again, and you're going in the box. And you need to speak English or Spanish. Comprende? Oh my God! Oh my God! Hey, excuse me. Do not touch the inmate. Immigrant. Do not touch the immigrant. Why don't you take it over there? We got this. God, girl, on my trip, and I thought I'd never see you again. Girl, you look hot. Well, duh, I'm still me. No, I mean sweaty. Oh, it's like a fucking dead gas locker room in here is the worst. Blanca, you have no idea. You have to help me get out. What do you mean, help you escape? No, no, it's a mistake that I'm here. I need you to find my mom, tell her that I know she's mad at me, but that this is an emergency, okay? Maria Ramos in Miami. Oh, okay, don't worry, okay? Worry face gives you a lemons between your brows. Okay. I got you. What happened to her? The patient presented with severe abdominal upset and vaginal spotting. And thankfully, the pregnancy is still viable. She's pregnant? I say about nine weeks alone. So why is she still screaming? Well, she's scared, poor thing. She doesn't know that her little boogie wee is going to be okay. Mama, Mama, your baby is going to be okay. Your baby's going to be okay. 
Where is her translator? We don't have a translator for that. You're supposed to file a report if a detainee needs the language line. I have a new courtroom to oversee, so it sounds like a you problem to me. Hello? Do you know Maritza Ramos? Yes. Really? Oh my God, are you the Maria Ramos, Maritza's mom? Yes, what's going on? Hi, I'm her best friend, Flaca, and I know you wouldn't take her calls when she got out of prison, but this is an emergency, so please. It's Maritza okay? No, she's in immigration prison because she doesn't have her ID. She needs her U.S. birth certificate to prove that she's a citizen. I don't have it. Okay, well, can you, like, go to the record place and get her a replacement? No, what I'm saying is there isn't one. Maritza wasn't born here. State your true and complete name. Carla Diana Adilene Cordova. At your last proceeding, your case was set over to give you time to find an attorney, yet you're here today without an attorney. I'm representing myself, Your Honor. I'd like to file my application for relief under the Convention Against Torture Act. Do you have a filled out I-589 application and your supporting evidence that demonstrates you will be tortured if returned to El Salvador today? I do, Your Honor. Uh, the newspaper article is about the school where I used to teach El Alef. The year I left, we had 36 deaths. All of them boys who refused to join gangs. I knew them all personally. Many of them were my students. They were good boys, but they had no way out. When I became pregnant, my husband and I knew we had to leave. We couldn't risk our child's life. Gang violence I... is not grounds for cat. It's not even grounds for asylum. I I'm getting to that. Speed it up, Miss Cordova. I have two boys now, American boys. I can't take them to a country where their choices are kill or be killed. The Convention Against Torture clearly states that torture is intense suffering that is inflicted in order to obtain information or to coerce. If I take my boys back, they'll be coerced into joining the gangs, or they will suffer the consequences. The very definition by which Kat stands. The state is not deporting Miss Cordova's kids. The state is deporting Miss Cordova. I'm not leaving them. Their father passed away last year. I'm all they have. Your Honor, Miss Cordova doesn't even have custody of her children. That's only because I'm in here. I'm seeing your children are already placed in pre-adoptive foster care. I'm their mother. I will file to get them back. Miss Cordova, your children will be safer here. If anyone's made that case, it's you. Unfortunately, what you have failed to do is make a case for yourself. This application doesn't even make a prima facie case for relief under the cat. I'm denying your case, and I am issuing a written order of removal. You can't! <laughs> gentlemen, my name is Judge Christine Hollister, and we're sitting in the Immigration Court in Litchfield, New York. These are removal proceedings for siblings Alma and Santiago Casillas. Let the record show the respondents are present in court, but without an attorney. Do you understand what these proceedings are about? Ms. Casillas, do you and your brother have a lawyer? Do you know what a lawyer is? Well, do you understand that we are here to determine whether or not you two can remain in the United States? Can I use the bathroom? I thought Ms. this Casillas courtroom was for adult hearings. We have the juvenile docket on Fridays. Are you afraid to return? Legal's and illegal, even if they're me. And a piece of shit is a piece of shit, even if he's grown. She said shit. <laughs> hey! Mama? Mijo. Where are you? Mama, they took our cat and my Pokemon cards. When are you coming back? I'm working real hard on getting back to you, okay? I'm going to have to be away for a little while, but I'm coming back. But when? I don't know yet, 
But soon, you have to know that no matter what happens, no matter what anyone tells you, I will not stop until we're together again. Will you be here for my birthday? If I'm not, it just means that I'm still on my way. Okay? But it might take me a little while. So until then, you two need to take care of each other. Remind each other to drink water and zip up your jackets. And you know how when you were little and you'd get real angry or sad? We used to talk about using your words. Well, you're gonna have to do that. You're gonna have to tell people what you need. If there's something you don't understand, or if, if something hurts, or if someone hurts you, you're gonna need to speak up for yourselves and for each other because I won't be there to do it for you. I love you both more than anything. Never forget how much I love you. Hasta en su muerte la fue llamando 